Everybody's bringing over their own chairs, doing their whole thing. Before we start, can you hear me back there? Okay, you know, maybe if I like stop the music and you know, I like, all right. You know, I was going to go for the fade out, but you know, that's too hard to figure out. We have a dynamite show for you. How many people were in Hawaii last year and saw the live demo hour in Hawaii last year? Wasn't that this show is going to be better. It is going to be an awesome show. And we are going to start out with our host uh, museum, the Maryland Science Center, who deserves a big round of applause before we even start. The first science center I ever worked at was at the Maryland Science Center in the 80s. And I see Pete Anconi over there and Terry Nixon over there. Both of you get stand up, give those guys a, a round of applause. Because they have been in the business like 25, 30 years at the Maryland Science Center. It's absolutely awesome. We've got some people who've only been there like uh, 10 years. Eight, 18. 18 years. A newbie. A newbie. <laughs> So these first performers are Nikki Hort, who is the um, uh, Director of Outreach, and Chris Blair. And they're going to be doing two things. One is the Science Cannons, and the other one is the Squirty Sphere. All I'm going to say is, you guys might be, you know like in, when you go to SeaWorld, the Splash Zone? You guys are in the Splash Zone. Let's have a nice round of applause for Nikki and Chris. Whatsoever. You need to find a way to show that that gas 
is actually being produced. And some kind of change is happening inside of you. So we all know that we can speed this up. There's a bunch of different catalysts. We've decided to use some potassium iodide, if you can hold that. And uh, I'm gonna be doing this over here in the corner, so some of y'all might wanna stand up. So we're gonna add a little bit of catalyst. Okay, here we go. Little bit of catalyst. You think, you think that's enough? Okay, little bit of catalyst. How's that, Chris? Guys, want more? Okay. That was a big chunky chunk. Okay, we got a little bit left. Should we do all of it? Absolutely. We put all that catalyst in there so we should get the release of hydrogen gas much faster. But to capture it, of course, you're going to need some green apple shampoo. Okay. Are right, you ready, Chris? The reason this is called the squirty sphere, ladies and gentlemen, is because atop this beautiful handmade beaker of doom, we are going to put the squirty sphere. Remember all my friends in the front row, and uh, gentlemen videographer, just be warned, they do pay more for these seats. And remember, if you have forgotten your funnel, ladies and gentlemen, engineering is also a science. You just get a bottle and cut off the bottom. Would you like to pour a hole? Okay, here we go. We're gonna add our hydrogen peroxide down inside of that squirty sphere. And then we are going to run. Don't worry, it's coming. Virtually invisible.